Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Caps Killer. Here we are back again with uh, Samsung Q8 FN. And a lot of you've been asking me this question regarding the SD2084, which is a gamma level for Q8 FN, or better yet, a gamma level for the HDR. Is this something that you should touch? Is this something that you should uh, adjust? Now, the best way to adjust this is by using a proper calibrating equipment so you can tell what your gamma levels are. But I have been using my eyes to detect the brightness levels and I've been using this one scene in Prometheus to determine whether or not I am crushing my deep dark levels with the, uh, the gamma level turned to minus one which is the SD2084, a HDR gamma levels. As you can see here on this dark scene, obviously I'm not crushing anything. And that's the whole idea here. You know, you're supposed to see the background. You're supposed to see that uh, whatever that stone is uh, in the background, uh, the wall, the cave, whatever this is, the cave of the wall, you know, you're supposed to see all of these details. Like, you can even see the reflection of the light uh, behind him uh, when he, when these little, you know, balls start running around. You can see the light reflecting the, the walls on the caves. Like right here, you can see that. The reason you can see that is because you have a good gamma levels here. And in my opinion, the gamma levels being set to minus one here will give you a much better black levels, in my opinion. I've been using minus one, and uh, at first I was afraid that maybe... I will be crushing my deep dark levels, but I have determined looking at this scene and some other dark scenes from other various movies that I have tried, I have actually determined that this gamma minus one uh, really gets the job done. However, the trick is also for you to leave your bright levels at middle. Your brightness should be at uh, middle, which is right here at zero. You know, if I was to move my bright brightness level to let's say uh, let's say minus three then I would be crushing see right now it's being crushed this is how you know you're crushing your deep dark levels right here because you can't see the background now when you move it to zero now you can see the background you can see that wall uh, next to Sean Harris's uh, character that's the actor you can see that cave and the wall so leave the brightness at zero which is the middle and uh, color at 23 that's fine sharpness at 10 I would recommend that as well especially for 55 inch TV however this right here the ST2084 the gamma level right here I would keep it at minus one try this let me know what you think you know I, th I think it looks great for me personally uh, I've been using it now and uh, like I said, you're not going to be crushing any black digital levels here with SD2084 to minus 1. This gamma to minus 1, you clearly can see, uh, maybe I can bring my camera a little bit closer. You clearly can see this cave and the reflection on the wall of this cave. I call it a cave, whatever. <laughs> Uh, it is what it is. It's a Prometheus cave, okay? And if, as long as you can see in the dark areas, this is how you can test whether or not you have the good uh, black levels. It's when you have a scene like this that's being tested in the very dark areas. So go ahead, give this a try. Try the uh, gamma levels to minus one. Let me know what you think. All right, guys, thank you for watching.